Hey what's up, I'm Jackie, I'm a character designer at Netflix right now, and today I'm going to be drawing an illustration for, for my exclusive February print club for my Patreon. Every month I make one exclusive print to mail out to my patrons, and I thought maybe today I'd record it and see what happens. I don't have much of an idea in place so far, I have my mood board of pawns, so maybe, maybe I'll do a character in a pond. I don't know. If you don't know what Patreon is, you pledge a certain amount of money a month and you get access to a creator's exclusive content. So for me, I have a lot of behind the scenes, progress posts, step by steps, tutorials, and also an exclusive print. So if you'd like, you can support me on Patreon and get this print, this print to be in the mail. I don't know what it's going to be yet. So without further ado, let's, uh, let's get started. So for this piece, I really wasn't sure what I wanted to do for a long time. Um, I was looking up these pond imagery, and I also haven't drawn it for myself in a long time. I've been busy making a short film, and like, I don't know, I just haven't felt like drawing in a while, but I had to put together this um, Patreon print, so. I buckled down and I sat by my computer and I gave it a go. I haven't been ha happy with my art lately. I feel like it's kind of generic and it's kind of similar to each other all the time. So I, I'm not sure. So I was like struggling with this sketch for a while. I wasn't sure the direction I wanted to go. I wanted to tell a story and um, with these first two sketches that I did, like um, it wasn't that I, I also wanted it to be like this elevated, like model -y type of pose. That's usually what I like to do, right? I, I like to do like an editorial type, more soft eyes and more like an intense look rather than like a fun expression. So I scrapped that idea that I just had <laughs> and I moved on and I thought maybe I'll try more of like a fairy tale-y kind of look. And so I did a, a girl and then with like flowers in your hair and she's wearing a dress and I liked that pose and I thought that was fun. And then I was um, looking through my reference and I stumbled upon these references and I was like, okay, maybe I want it to be more spooky, more like a little bit kind of creepy feeling. And I liked the pose a lot, but I just couldn't get that face right. So then I scrapped it and I tried to go for this profile. And I was like, yeah, that's it. That's that's what I was looking for. And I was happy with this. And then um, now that I'm looking at it, um, it looks a lot. It looks pretty similar to this painting that I did. And I sure hope um, <laughs> no one notices. So I'm just um, scaling it. I'm just like figuring out the postcard size because usually I make it on a bigger page, like eight and a half by 11, this one is. And then I scale it down to five by seven, which is the postcard sides that I send out. So um, I'm trying to figure out the colors now. I'm outlining the silhouette of the character. Um, I don't, honestly, like I've been using Procreate more than Photoshop for my personal art, especially for like lineless work. So like, I feel like I'm not very comfortable lining, I mean, linelessing in Photoshop right now. Um, especially because I haven't drawn for myself in a long time and I'm just doing line art at work. So um, I'm trying to figure out the colors. I'm toggling in between CMYK colors and RGB colors to make sure that when it prints, it'll look nice and the colors won't be different. Um, I'm blocking out the main um, color chunks and um, testing out just like different ideas of, of like what it could be. And I really think like moods change with the color of the piece, especially like small colors. Like I have like blue hair here, which I switch out in a bit for white. And I think that the entire like white outfit and white hair that I give her really um, gives this like type of elegance that like blue hair with, you know, a colored um, dress wouldn't really give. So I'm happy with the colors that ended up. I remember at this point I was like, I was like, oh boy, this is not working. Like the skin color and the hair color was just like not clicking for me. And especially when I was toggling between CMYK and um, RGB, like it was just like the saturation was just like off. It wasn't working out for me. So these are the basic colors that I figured out and I don't finish the feet here and like the elbow and the in the water because I'm kind of, like I haven't really figured it out at this point, but 
I am kind of planning that that would be underwater. And later I have to fill them in because I make the water like really transparent because you could see like layers and layers of lily ponds on it. So like I have to add the feet in or it'll look like she has no feet unless I put a lily pad in front of it. And here I'm adding details in the hair. Um, usually when I make an illustration like this, I do whatever I'm most comfortable with first and then I like, I end up going to the part that's harder. So for me, figuring out the colors, well, in figuring out the colors for the character, I feel is the most important part to me because then I change the background to what the character is. Cause I kind of have an idea of what the background's gonna be. Like I know I want it greeny, bluey, and then, um, and then I want the character to kind of stand out. So I want her skin to be pink. And then I wasn't sure what I was gonna do with the hair and the dress. So I did the hair, I like detailed the hair first because I got carried away and I liked it doing it. <laughs> but you know, not necessary. Um, so I, I got a base of the character and then I started working on the background because that's the next most, that's like the next part that I'm not sure what it's gonna look like. And I kind of have to figure it out. Usually I have a clear head, clear idea in my head of like the character and then I kind of have to figure out what the, what the uh, background's gonna be. And usually I don't like do heavy backgrounds. Um, I think I wanna make it a goal for myself for this year to focus more on illustration, more of like a character in a scene. I used to, I remember in college, I used to kind of take that more seriously and put a character into a scene more often. And I think that was like a fun part of it. <laughs> fun part of learning. Um, recently, um, when I do like bigger personal projects, it's always a character in a scene, but for smaller things like after work and stuff like that, it's just a character because I don't really have time to, you know, when I want to unwind, I just want to do what I'm comfortable with. Um, but I'd like to challenge myself to not do that <laughs> and, you know, try to do things that are out of my comfort zone, even though I am lately so tired all the time. So back to the painting, um, I really wanted the lily pads to, you know, have a lot of variation in color. So I did it more green and then yellowy and like some blotches of kind of like this tan color from her skin to kind of bring it into the background to connect her more to the background a little bit. And um, like I put some texture on the li lily pads. Um, I like, I duplicate a lot and I flip them around so I could do less work in the end. And I think my favorite part is adding these shadows onto the, the lily pads underneath. I think that adds a really nice touch. And just adding details to the lily pads right now, trying to make them not look like it's just a lasso tool circle with a little bit of texture on it, <laughs> which is exactly what they are. And, um, but now that I've kind of got the basics, like I've, I've kind of like finished all the drawing parts elements, I'm like going in for like the background and kind of figuring out exactly how things are gonna play off each other and adding like some softer lights on certain areas and like gradients um, like from the top of the piece to mid behind her to make her stand out more. And then I make the bottom of the piece like lighter so your eye goes from down to up and it draws your eye up to where she's looking. Um, but like around here, I'm almost finished this background. I'm adding just some lily, uh, lily flowers, lily, lilies, some lilies. And I just draw like two and then I'm duplicating them and flipping them around. Why do more work when you could do less work? That's what I always say. Um, so, I'm going back to the character because we forgot all about her and I'm adding in some details, just finishing her up. I remember not really wanting to add a white iris to her eye because I thought it gave this like nice touch to it. Um, but that was when the hair was going to be blue and I wasn't sure what the colors were. But now that there's so much white in it, I feel like it would be strange not to have an iris just because I'm already showing these bright white colors. And because the lily pads have these hard shadows um, when there's lily pads underneath them, I'm adding hard shadows to um, the character of where like her legs touch, 
or where you know a natural shadow would be. I'm also adding some white highlights. I think that will make her stand out against the dark bluish green background a little bit better. And just adding like multiplies and highlights, like where the reflection of the water would like highlight against her. Adding some, um, what would you call this? Weeds? Um, uh, fo foliage? And then some uh, uh, fireflies? <laughs> little, little floating bugs, perhaps. Um, adding some multiplies and then basically that's done adding some noise and some field blur making it look really nice just like blending the whole thing together and then this is about it for this project once I add my signature I am donezo bunzo so thanks for watching um, you can you could join my patreon to get this print in the mail just this month only February so if you're watching this in the future, I am sorry, but it is gone forever. So please like, maybe comment, perhaps subscribe if you want. And I'll see you next time. Thank you. <laughs> Toodaloo, bye!